ever wondered about where humans came from or how the first people made it to North America? Because I have. I love to investigate these sorts of things because it's kind of like a mystery, a history mystery. So in this video, we're going to discuss a couple of theories about human origins and cross-Pacific migration. There are a lot of theories on these subjects, but I'll just be telling you the most prominent ones. Hello, my name is Bree. First, let's talk about two hypotheses about human origins. The first is called Out of Africa, and it's true to its name. The Out of Africa hypothesis was developed in 1947 by Franz Weidenreich and argues that modern humans originated in the late Pleistocene, which is a period of time about 100,000 to 200,000 years ago in Africa. It also argues that this species rapidly expanded and ended up replacing all the other archaic humans in the other parts of the world. The second hypothesis about human origins is the multi-regional hypothesis, which at its most basic level opposes the out of Africa theory and instead contends that humans evolved in different places outside of Africa from separate populations of Homo erectus, which is an extinct species of human genus. And this hypothesis was proposed in 1984 by Milford H. Woolpoff, Alan Thorne, and Jin C. Wu. Now let's move on to two theories about cross-Pacific migration, the first one being the land bridge hypothesis. The land bridge hypothesis posits that the first people to reach America did so by creating a giant land bridge that connected Asia to North America, right here on the West Coast, and it's called the Bering Land Bridge. This theory is believed to have been first proposed in 1590 and is credited to a Spanish missionary by the name of Fray José de Acosta, which as a side note is an awesome name, when he published the first written record of this theory. On the other hand, the Kelp Highway hypothesis, aka the Pacific Coastal Route hypothesis, contends the first theory by proposing that instead the first inhabitants of America were seafarers, and they followed a rich kelp path migrating throughout the west coast of America, and then spreading further inland from there. The Kelp Highway Hypothesis was proposed in 2007 by an American archaeologist by the name of John Erland. And that's it, the most prominent theories of cross-Pacific migration and human origins. Mind you, all the things I've talked about today have been at a very basic level. I would really encourage you to research these ideas and theories further because I didn't even touch on some of the theories when it comes to human migration or origins. These are some amazing and interesting theories, so go check them out for yourself. 